What's up YouTube? This is Brian here again with another video. And today I want to talk a little bit about Mega Bass Rods and what's coming this summer. For some reason, there is not much discussion going on right now out in the fishing tackle world about the 2020 Mega Bass Destroyer rods that are going to be coming this summer. Um, I'm hearing that this rod line is going to be coming around June and that it is going to come in with I think 27 SKUs. So there's going to be seven spinning rods and 17 new Mega Bass Destroyer rods coming out this summer. That's a lot and I'm surprised no one's really talking about this because Mega Bass debuted and showed off these rods um, a few months ago at the 2020 Japan Fishing Show in, uh, where is it? It's in um, Osaka, Japan. So Mega Bass had a display set up. They had all these rods sitting out. A lot of people um, took some casual video of these rods, but no one really dove into any of the models and the tapers and the naming. Supposedly, the pricing on these rods is still being kind of ironed out. Um, I'm hearing that the rods are going to be anywhere from 450 to $475, so they're going to be slightly more expensive than the current model USA Destroyer rods. I've been told that these rods are not replacing the current line of Destroyers. It's just an update. So when they say things like that, it always makes me seem like, oh, they're going to, the old model Destroyers are probably going out. Who knows? So what I also have learned is that there's no overlap. So in this new line of Destroyer rods, there's not like an FMJ or a Bunker Buster, or a um, Atomine. There's not a new version of the rods we have now in the new Destroyer line. These are all brand new tapers and new rods and new models. So I guess we're gonna find out. I've been trying to get my hands on a actual model list of the 27 rods that are gonna be coming out. No one's been able to give me that yet. So if you guys uh, out there in the YouTube community have a list, um, if you work at a Mega Bass shop and you wanna feed it to me so I can talk about it, that'd be awesome. But I do know the facts. So the facts are 27 new Bass Destroyer models coming, 7 spinning, 17 bait casting, and I actually have some screen captures here that we're going to go over and talk about some of the differences that I've noticed in these rods. Um, so these are all screenshots from Ben at the Hookup Tackle, saw these rods at on display at the 2020 Osaka show. I went through his videos and I grabbed screenshots so we can kind of analyze and look at these rods up close. So here's the first time I think anyone's talked about these videos at length in YouTube uh, or on YouTube. So let's dive into a few of these pictures. So first off, uh, one thing I've noticed is that the lock nut is completely different on this new model. Also, the other thing I've noticed is that the um, handles are um, matte. So it looks like we got a matte finish on the handles. We got a new metallic, weird looking lock nut. The cork looks the same. Um, the handle configuration looks the same. So other than that, I'm not seeing uh, a whole bunch of differences. Supposedly these new destroyers are a new blank material. They're supposedly lighter. They're supposedly stronger, but every new rod comes out lighter and stronger, so I guess we'll remain to be seen. Uh, one thing I think that is interesting in this rod model, or this new rod lineup, is that there's some EVA uh, models and then some um, cork. So I'm noticing that there's different lengths in the handles. Like this guy in the middle here, he's a little shorter. Some cork, there's obviously some EVA grips here, which is uh, interesting. I'd like to know what models have the EVA versus the cork and why that is. And also, if you notice here, there's apparently two rods that are very big um, that have a much more robust uh, butt section past the handle with bigger cork and everything. So let's go look through a few of these pictures. These are the best screen grabs I could get. Uh, Mega Bass had uh, their display set up and they were showing off. Uh, here's basically their generic chart for all the rod powers and then their taper chart. So the, the, the marketing material they had behind these rods weren't specific to these rods. The marketing material was just kind of like generic uh, Mega Bass marketing material about the rods. So um, I can't tell what any of these models are unfortunately. There wasn't any close-up pictures of any of the labels. Um, but we'll go through a few of these pictures. I've just noticed that they've gone to a less shiny material on the handle. Um, and they've got with a new lock nut. Hopefully there's improvements to the lock nut and they're using a better glue now that won't dislodge like the uh, lock nuts on the current destroyers. Um, let's see, we already looked at that picture. The one thing that I think is the most dramatic change that I actually really want to talk about is when we get to the spinning rods. 
Uh, let's see, I'm not noticing anything dramatic in these here. Um, let's skip down. Uh, obviously, this model right here is a, a very big rod. Um, <clears throat> not noticing too many dramatic changes. Oh, this is the cool picture. Okay, so this part, this picture is interesting because here's their standard bay, cast, bay, bay casting models. Um, here's their standard spinning models. And then they've got these two monster rods in the middle of the lineup. Um, what I do know is that this rod, the big long one here, is a nine-footer. It's a nine-footer called the ICBM, uh, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM. So that's a great name for a rod for a nine-footer. I don't know if Mega Bass has ever had a nine-footer in the just regular Destroyer series. I think they've kind of kept those lengths in the like uh, Swimbait series rods. So that'll be really interesting. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a deep cranking rod. Um, I have no idea what the other big big boy is here. Um, it, obviously, it's a few inches taller than their regular um, Destroyers. But let's talk about the spinning rods real quick. This is what I'm actually kind of... I'm not really feeling this on the new spinning rods. So if you guys notice, if you have a current um, destroyer spinning rod, they really took off a lot of material on the upper part of the grip here. One of my favorite things about the Rochi spinning rods and the destroyer spinning rods is the big chunk of cork they have above the handle. So if you are a guy who grips, actually I have one here, one second. So if you're a guy who um, likes to choke up on rods, if you notice, you got a big bunch of material right here, and you can choke up and grab here. Um, I'm noticing on the new uh, on the new destroyer rods, that's that's gone. Um, they've gone to a much more minimalistic um, handle for the destroyer spinning rods, and I'm not I'm not too excited about this. Quite honestly, it looks to me like they're carrying over some of the design elements from the Evolution spinning rods which have a similar grip to this so it seems like they're taking some of their super high-end um, grip design and bringing it down to the destroyer and I don't know if that's a good thing I guess I really got to get these guys in hand to see if uh, if you're supposed to be gripping the rod lower around the handle um, or around the actual reel seat instead of choking up but I'm a guy who likes to choke up so I'm a little apprehensive about the new spinning reel or spinning rod design um, I guess we're gonna have to just see how it feels in hand um, but I give this one like a I don't know, a 5 out of 10. Not super excited about it. Um, this was the only picture I could get that had a close-up view of any of the model names. And this is that big um, This is that big 9-foot. So it's a F7.5, which is a pretty light power for such a long rod. So this says it's the Long Distance Lake Buwa Long Distance Edition ICBM. So... That's the only model that I can really tell. Something over here is, I think it says the word tequila? I don't know, it's hard to tell with these pictures. But um, anyway, I just wanted to throw this out there that there is a new 2020 line of destroyer rods coming. There's some significant changes to the spinning models. They've redesigned the grip completely on the spinning models. It looks to me like they took the Evolution um, and the higher end, uh, their $600 price point rod uh, reel seats and they're bringing it down to the destroyer series. Um, these rods are going to be a little more expensive than the current Mega Bass US Destroyers, which are 400 bucks. Apparently, these have about a $50 price bump. They're going to be supposedly lighter. A whole new line of actions and models. When I get a full list of these uh, model numbers and what the what what kind of rods there are in the series, I'll probably do another video and we'll break that down. But until then, um, stay tuned. I just wanted to throw this out there into the world that yeah, we got a whole bunch of new destroyers coming this calendar year, this summer, and I'm really excited to see um, what they're all about. This is all we got for now, so if you guys have any more information and you want to drop some uh, some leaks or any information, uh, throw it down in the comics or the comments. Um, until next time, we'll uh, see you guys later.